Okay, I'm going to show you how to work with your GIS class folder so that you don't have any issues with backing it up, accessing it from another computer, or dealing with broken path names. If you're downloading the GIS class folder for the first time, you'll go to Canvas and download the folder. Click Download. Download should proceed from here. I'm going to cancel this because I've already downloaded the folder. It usually takes a minute or two. So I'm going to go ahead and open the folder. And at the top, there will be an Extract tab in pink. Click that. Click Extract All. Make sure that it shows extracted files when complete. And now, this is the point where you'll be saving it onto the computer that you're working on, the virtual lab. In many cases, the virtual lab. It might be the in-person lab, but you'll be saving it to that computer. So, just so you see what I check there, click the Browse button. This will open up a Destination Options. Make sure that it goes to this PC, the C drive, open up the users folder, choose your user, and then make sure it gets saved inside of this. Simply click select folder, click extract. Now this process usually takes a little bit, so we're not going to uh, bother uh, extracting it um, right this second. But anyway, it will, it will take a few minutes to extract on your computer uh, between Oh, I would say 90 seconds and three minutes. It's usually very quick. You can do it perhaps while the TA is giving their intro presentation. Um, just take a second to look over your work during those two to three minutes. And then this uh, folder should open up showing your saved uh, extracted GIS class folder here. Notice that it does not have a .zip at the end of the name, okay? All right, so now we're gonna close that. Let's say you open up ArcGIS Pro, you work on your project, you have all your data saved inside of GIS class, and you're ready to shut down for the day and um, you wanna be able to access your folder from another computer another time. So go ahead and open up File Explorer. Down here, it's this folder on the left. And then in the computer, go ahead and navigate back to where your GIS class folder is saved. And here it is. You're going to right-click on that, go to Send To, and then Compressed Zipped Folder. You'll click that, and that usually takes a very short amount of time. On my computer, it's pretty quick. Uh, it'll take usually less than 30 seconds on the lab computers. And then down here, I have two of these GIS zip folders because I, I did it earlier. So you'll have this folder that says GIS Class .zip. You'll still have your original GIS Class folder up here. Notice it does not have the .zip extension. You want to make sure that now you're going to be working with the GIS class .zip for uploading to Box the Cloud because it will take way less time to upload um, and the data is in a nice little package. Okay, so now we're going to go over here back to your browser. Don't go to Box Drive on the computer. Go to your browser, type in UC Davis Box. Go ahead and log in. And then from here, you'll drag and drop this onto your, uh, into your folder. Down here at the bottom, you'll see the upload progress. Uh, this usually takes a very brief amount of time, usually less than a minute. At this point, you can close File Explorer. This will continue to upload. And so from here, if you were to go and download uh, the data to work on another computer, you wouldn't need Canvas anymore. So let's close that tab. For most of the rest of the class, you shouldn't need Canvas at all for the GIS class folder unless you have a, uh, an issue with a corrupted file or your folder gets um, maybe some, some data lost. So anyway, you won't be working with the, the Canvas original folder anymore. So now everything should be on Box the Cloud. This is almost done downloading, so we'll give it a second to go ahead and finish. And from here, you would simply repeat the process that we just did. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is finishing up uploading. Okay, and it tells you up here that it was uploaded successfully. So let's go ahead and find that GIS cla class.zip. Mine says version 2 because I just uploaded that. So that means that if you have a previous copy of, on there, it will tell you and just give you the, uh, the updated version. And that's really nice because you, you'll only really want to be working with the most recent version. Unless for some reason it has a huge amount of data on it. It's really too slow to download and upload. But from now on, just consider working with the most recent version. All right, so now we'll put a break on it. If you were to 
now move on to working on another computer. You don't need Canvas anymore. Simply click download from here and then repeat the process that we just did.